Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out some more uh, flower beauty. So every year Drew Barrymore has a sale on her products because it's her birthday. So February 24th is her birthday and she has a sale for the entire week of her birthday. And so I swooped in and I got some products and I wanted to try them out because, you know, they're, they're like luxury. They're like some more luxury drugstore makeup. So if you're um, one of my sisters out there who is looking to save a little money, but you want to try maybe a new palette for spring, this is a great way to go. Um, unfortunately, the sale's over for this year, but maybe next year you can climb on to it. So I got a few things. So this palette I have been eyeing for quite some time. And so I was able to get this for like six or seven dollars. It's so pretty. And, uh, you know, the packaging is nice. Isn't that pretty? And it's very basic and simple and realistic for a woman over 50. And then I got this blush, so we're going to try them out. Let's get started. Okay, so I have semi-prepped myself today. <laughs> um, I put on some eyebrows a little bit, but I'm going to do a little bit more filling in because I did them real quick this morning just so I could get my day started and get things going. But um, So I have been using two pencils um, a pen and a pencil to do my eyebrows lately because I don't have any hair on the innermost part of my eyebrow. Um, I like to do, I like to use a, a pen on it first and lay down some pigment, a little bit more pigment, and then go back over with the pencil. So that's what I've been doing. So I used this Dila in medium right here and I kind of did hair like strokes and kind of filled that in. And now I'm going to, and then I kind of extended it out a little bit here, but now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. brow pencil. And I'm just going to ex make my brow a little bit bigger. I'm also pulling it up here and kind of going up to this part here and then coming down so I'm putting an arch in there and I think the arch is really important because it just gives you that real professional eyebrow look see the difference between the two And there is something that I've been paying attention to that I may not have mentioned in past videos. I used to always like just draw the whole brow on, but now I pay attention to creating kind of a line on top and a line on the bottom and then filling it in. Otherwise, it's just like, I'm drawing just a line. Um, so I like to picture in my mind's eye what my eyebrows should look like and, and draw like the outermost edge. I can't do it so much with this pencil because it has a thicker tip on it. I can do it with the micro. So like trace around the edges is what I'm saying. So do an outline and then fill it in. All right now I'm gonna set that concealer and primer with my little Wet n Wild Brulee. And I'm also going to diffuse my eyebrows and make them look more natural by putting the powder on. And you'll see the difference between one side and the other.
So let's go in with, a, let's pick a brush. I'm going to use the e.l.f. crease brush. This is the, the more fluffy one. They have two. Here's the difference. I'm using the bigger one. And I am going to go in with this nice brown shade here as my crease color. And I'm using a more fluffy brush because I don't want to deposit a whole lot of product. Pretty. Look at that. Good color. And this is a cool palette, so yeah, that's what we need, some more cool palettes. I've been playing with, you know, my Milani palette and I love it, but, um, I, I go, I tend to go back and forth between like cool and warm, and cool and warm. And then sometimes I'll marry the two together, but this is more cooler. So even this, this brown, you want to call it brown. It's not real. It's more like a taupe. It's more on the cooler side. So really beautiful color. So I apologize, I haven't used this palette prior to doing this video. So this is the first video that I'm doing using this palette. I usually try to try them out for three days or something before I introduce them to you just in case. Because sometimes I change my mind. Sometimes I'll be using a palette and like by day three, um, I'll be like, oh, I liked it at first, but now I don't like it. And I want to be a little bit more certain before I present it to you. But sometimes I forget about that rule about trying it out first. And I just do a video like this where I'm just trying it out for the first time with you trying this out for the first time with me here. So, but so far, so good. Um, let me talk about the shadows just for a minute here, because I think that's an important aspect of you know maybe your choice whether you want to get it or not so they don't feel chalky there is dust off um pigmentation is fair it's pretty good it's um i would say and it's not they're not too chalky which is something that i don't like i don't like real chalky drying shadows and it feels pretty good so far, so good. I'll let you know in the comment section if anything changed. All right, so there we go. Got my crease color on. Now I am gonna go in with this beautiful, now you could do this palette to one of two ways. You could do crease color, lid color, crease color, lid color. Um, but I want to use the purple with the brown. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this beautiful, beautiful purple color here. And I'm gonna lay that with my fingers right on my lid. Just kind of in the middle. It's really a pretty color, ladies. This is like grape, um, grape, it's like grapes. It's, it's a, smoky purple and that's what attracted me to it i i looked at it and i went oh man that that is such a smoky purple so 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 pretty very deep it's dark so this palette can go medium um it can go light i have pretty fair skin but so it can go if you have medium skin tone as well. This color, I can't express to you this color. It's so pretty. It's like a royal purple. That's what I want to say. It has some a royalty uh, vibe to it as far as color really pretty so i'm going to go back in with this fluffy and i'm just wiping it off on my microfiber from dollar tree i'm going to take off some of this color a little bit with this just kind of blend it in 
All right, now it's toned it down a little bit, so. It's gorgeous. <sighs> okay, so the only thing this palette is missing is an under the brow color. That's what this palette is missing. But I'm not going to, you know, say it's not a good palette because it doesn't have that. It would be nice if it did, and I, I don't think this, well, actually, hmm, let's try it. Let's try this up under the brow just a little bit. I'm going in with the smaller brush. Okay, that kind of works. It's not really super light, but it kind of works. So you could use this just up under, but it does have a shimmer. So, and this is the smaller e.l.f. brush. So that's why I always like to have like a standard color like the Wet n Wild Brulee because I can go in with this Brulee and, you know, just go up underneath the brow with it. But that's not going to keep me from liking this, this quad just because of that. Because I'm going to go into my L.A. Colors Highlighter. And I'm going to use that to lighten up the inside and a little bit underneath my brow. This is one that I've already used, and I love this. This is Glow Time, and you can get this at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to use that on a little bit of a kind of a pointy brush. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that, and I'm going to go under here. And then I'm going to take this on the inside corner and just lighten up that corner. A little bit. And that just gives it dimension. So it goes light, medium, dark, 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 you know. Just kind of gives it some oomphy. Oomphy. And then I'm actually going to go back into it again. And I'm just going to go right here in the tear duct part, just right there, just kind of brighten and open my eye a little bit. Pretty. All right. The most exciting part of this video is the blush to me because that is really what I wanted to check out. So, so far, so good. Love the colors in this little quad and um, yeah if you can get it on sale for that price it's really great and i'm going to go back into it and i'm going to use it as liner so i'm using my elf liner brush and i'm going to go in oh i'm going to go into this smoky this color here this is the matte purple shade. It's kind of a gray purple. So if you like gray purple, this is a great palette from going from winter into spring. And then I'll be showing more spring-like palettes on my channel, so stay tuned. Those are coming. All right, so we're just going to go under there, and uh, I'm not going to put anything on the bottom lashes today. Let's darken that up just a little bit. All right, good. There's quite a bit of dust off, dust off on the palette, though. Okay, we'll see how they wear today. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and go in with our Bare Minerals Original in Fairlight. 
All right, so we're gonna flower it up today. Woo! And we're going to go in now with the flower uh, beauty, a bronzer in sunlit. Is it called sunlit or is it S1? Sunrise, Sunrise S1. This was in my favorites video. And we're going in with the e.l.f. Portable Kabuki, which might not be the best brush for bronzer, as it does grab quite a bit of product. But with this bronzer, I fear not, because it's not orange at all. So, it's so beautiful. I've been waiting a whole year for Drew Barrymore's birthday so that I could get these these two products on sale. Um, and I'm glad I waited because what, they were like a little over six bucks each. So that was great. All right, let's go into the blush. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. The packaging too is so nice and her colors are really beautiful I mean they're just stunning so this is sweet pea I believe you know it's sweet pea and I just wanted to try them all I wanted to buy them all so but I had to like no just don't get them all now <laughs> wait you know, get one a year, one every year. So beautiful, right? Oh, um, I think I, I loved, out of all the blushes I have ever used, I love CoverGirl's Natural Twinkle the best. It's just a personal thing. Um, and I've been looking for another one that was like it. There it is right there. So it's light. It's very light, um, but it does have that pink undertone, but it's not super pink. It's kind of just like a blushed color, and that's why I was attracted to it. And so I stopped using the CoverGirl Natural Twinkle because the pan would chew up my brushes. Um, you get the brush in there because they're, it's the small, the small blushes, and um, it just chews up the side of my blush brushes so this pan size is actually perfect in fact covergirl you know i use their 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 new one in love me so here's the difference in the pan size on these and i actually prefer this size better i think it it packs a little bit more you can you can see that they're very similar let me open them up for you you can see that they're very similar in color, but yet this one has some goldness to it. It's got that iridescence. And just for, so let me swatch these for you both side by side, just so in case you're maybe going back and forth on those. So that's the sweet pea. And here is the Love Me. Looks like the Sweet Pea is more pigmented. See? Okay, so there you go. That's the difference. So the Sweet Pea is here. It's more of a dusty pink. And this one has like a peachy, smeachy color. Um, it is it is a brighter pink, I would say. But on my skin tone with the yellow undertones, it comes up a little bit more peach. And this has ear luminosity to it, and this one, Sweet Pea, does not. Sweet Pea is matte. Um, for all my sisters out there who just love the matte, here we go. And I'm using my BS Small brush. I can't find my e.l.f. blush brush. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it, it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. All right, let's try this. 
Oh, yeah, I knew this was going to be good. Did you ever pick up a product in the store and go, this is going to be good? I do. Sometimes I, I, I know that that product is going to be good. And it is. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it's such a delicate, nice, not loud pink. It's so gorgeous. Of course, on my skin, it's pulling a little bit of the yellow. Um, my skin has yellow undertone, so it, it changes a little bit and is looking looking a lot like the, the CoverGirl Love Me at this moment, but it is more of a dusty pink, and that's really what I wanted. So, And it's a cool tone, so love it. All right, so that's on. And our final step is our lashes. So we're going to go in with a very basic daily mascara that I use, and this is the CoverGirl professional uh two and one or three and one let's see what it says it's the three and one and they have this in a straight version which is what i have here or the curved and this is a great everyday mascara My trusty rose and slay and slay rose and slay wet and white. A little bit deeper, plummier. Beautiful color. Look at that color. Love these moisturizing, gluten-free, inexpensive. Check that box, that box, and that box. Checks, is, checks all the boxes. <laughs> all right. I think that it will do it for today. Here's what we got. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. I've got more spring makeup coming up. Click like if you like the content. That helps my channel to get um, seen more. And um, yeah. thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.